Hello, ladies. Hello. Hello. Um, it's my pleasure to to um, introduce you. And I'd like you to introduce yourselves. And you are? Uh, I'm Judy. And what's your last name, Judy? Uh, my last name is Ju, Judy Ju. Judy Ju. And? I'm Momo Wu. Momo Wu. And I understand you guys are artists. Uh, looking at your work, you're a very talented artist. And not to pry, but how old are you, Judy? Uh, I'm 24 years old. And? 26. Wow, so you're a young, young, fairly young artist. Fairly young. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. And we're emerging artists still, but. Okay. And you went to school where? In San Francisco Art Institute. Okay. And what year did you graduate? Uh, in last year. Last year? Yes. Okay. Okay. And. We, we went to the same school and we sometimes share the studio together and working together. In oh, school. perfect. That's how we met. Oh, yeah. good. And you, you two are going to be doing a collaborative show. Yeah, um, really excited for that. And when is that? It should be at May. In May? Yeah. I'm right, looking forward to that. When I get more details, I'll send it out to everybody so they <laughs> make sure they get down here and at the Progress Gallery Thank you. and check it out. <laughs> okay, I'm going to let you, the two of you, tell me about the show individually and together. So, who'd like, who'd like to go first? I can go first. <laughs> so, well, since the Progress Gallery has two um, exhibit places, so one is the East Gallery, one is the West Gallery, so each of us will take one of the gallery. So maybe I'll take the West, so like Judy will take the East. Um, our working, um, our paintings are so different. She's a figurative painter and I'm an interdisciplinary artist and I do a lot of experimental works. And so I think it's, it's better to you know, separate our art in two space, but also um, we're really good friends and we really um, good at working with each other and we're studio mates and we always get motivations with each other so I'm really excited to show with Judy um, yeah so this is about the show okay. overall you do tell me about your work okay so as small as I am a figurative artist and uh, uh, yeah I, I really like to join figures like really realistic like not like Momo is very abstract and uh, like I'm, I'm really excited for the show because we like people can see uh, the difference and also our uh, the connection inside our artwork and also I really like I, I feel like almost like all the show is in the same topic mm -hmm. but we are really like different and I feel that it's a very interesting point to come and see. I love the balance of, the, of your work, both of you. It's beautiful work, as I can see now. It's just a sample of it. Um, I'm sorry for you, Judy. When did you start painting or getting into art? Actually, uh, I get I get into art when I was really young, when I was uh, six years old. But uh, the first time I'm like really doing some professional art. Uh, Courses is in San Francisco Art Institute. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And Momo? Um, the first time I'm, I'm doing art. Um, I started very young. I actually started um, the art with calligraphy with my grandpa. And I do very little Chinese traditional painting, but I was really into calligraphy. And once I got into the high school, I started to recognize that art is, you know, the thing in my life that I have to pursue. And yeah, I think high school would be the time that I started to seriously doing art. Now, what was your inspiration? Was it a teacher or did you have, what motivated you? Do you have outside motivation? Was it family? 
friends, other artists. What can you tell me about that? Are you self-motivated? Well, <laughs> I have a lot of <laughs> yeah, self-motivating too. It's a big, it's a great part of it. Um, but also, in the family, um, my grandpa from my father's side, he was a high school artist teacher, and he's doing really good with watercolor. So um, after he retires, he continued doing the water, watercolor paintings. And he's a really established watercolorist, um, not country, not national wild, but um, what not yeah, but like in local. He, he's a local artist, not not national wise. Yeah. And my grandpa would, um, of my mom's side, he as I said, he teach me calligraphies. Mm -hmm. Now too, um, I'm still learning calligraphies with him, and I still talk a lot with him okay. um, about lives and you know emotional support. That's what he is in my life. Okay, and Judy. Yeah. So uh, your motivation. Yes, my motivation is uh, my stepfather. My star. My stepfather is also an artist, okay. and he was my uh, art teacher when I was really young. Yeah, so um, uh, I, I learned a lot from him and also my uh, grandfather who in my mother's side, he also really good at calligraphy, like I still mm -hmm. all the old Chinese people, they really mm -hmm. like yeah. Yeah, Chinese painting and also the calligraphy. So, so you were trained in China, yeah. the two of you? Yes. Okay, so when did you come to America, come over here to study? and met Judy about two years ago, so maybe 2014. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, the first state I came is in Tennessee. I, because um, my cousin was studying um, physics there, and then I went to my cousin, and my parents like, you have to go to your cousin first. You know, this is a foreign country, and that makes us feel like you have someone to take care of you and after that you can transfer to any art school you want and yeah I went to Tennessee in 2012 and then I um, transferred to San Francisco in 2013 or 14 I can't remember and then yeah we met in the same school okay. yeah. I, went to, I went to San Francisco State um, so I, I'm from the Bay Area Mm -hmm. Yeah, I spent a lot of time awesome. in the Bay Area, so I know that area well. I love, I love the, the culture. I love the art. Don't like the weather. <laughs> you know? That's true. Same like that. that was decades ago. That's sad. Yeah, decades ago when I was out, when I went yeah. to school up there. But anyway, but for artists, it's beautiful. The whole Bay Area has a lot of art areas. It's really good to see. So I'm glad. I'm glad you guys both made a good choice of going there. Um, any causes um, that motivate you? Art causes or any foundations that you're a part of, anything like that? Or anything that you, art, art communities, do you guys, um, do the two of you interact with other artists a lot? Um, yeah, um, after graduated from BFA, from um, Bachelor of Fine Arts from San Francisco Institute. Um, I went to Fullerton and I found a great community. It's called Magoski Art Colony. Mm -hmm. And I volunteered there for about seven months. Okay. And I got shows there and great support from them. Mm -hmm. It's just really great experience. And now I found Pomona Art Colony and I found it's a great community too, you know. I have connections with both mm -hmm. our colonies and yeah and the residencies I went to they're all really great persons um, yeah yeah that's that's the our communities that I have been experienced how about how about you Judy yeah and I think maybe because I'm too young I didn't have that many <laughs> uh, the foundation experience um, but I really like get a lot of help from the San Francisco Art Institute mm -hmm. and also I go to, uh, I have an internship at the RC, like a uh, little art, uh, children's uh, like non 
nonprofit organization. Uh, they give me a lot of support, and also I think Pomona maybe will be my future uh, connection. <laughs> yeah. 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 I would. I would just a FYI. Uh -huh. um, keep George close, because George is probably one of the main people in, in this area or everywhere. He has a lot of knowledge, so just uh, spend some time talking to him. But as you know, Momo, mm -hmm. just spend some yes, time yeah. and learn. Yeah, this is my bigger support. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's perfect. We're supporting each other. <laughs> that, that's perfect, yeah. I hope you see that. Mm -hmm. And connections in the art world, world are your mainstay. Mm -hmm. You know, go out and reach, her, reach out to other people and don't be afraid to, to share mm -hmm. and learn. Because you know, you'll find that you're always learning. Mm -hmm. You know, you've helped me styles, and I may see you 10 years from now, mm -hmm. you may be doing a different type of art style. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So keep it open. Mm -hmm. But I love what you're doing now, and I wish you all success on the store, on, on the uh, show. I'm going to uh, take you back. Um, what is the, the best reward, or the, the thing you make that makes you happiest? about your artwork? The shows for sure and people make compliments on the openings in okay. the shows and and the first time I sold my painting that was my great reward and yeah I don't know for emerging artists were um, to be recognized and my paintings to be sold, it's, it's, it's the biggest reward. You know, and that was a truthful answer. Mm -hmm. A lot of people say it's the art, it's the love, mm -hmm. but the, the bottom line, if you want to be honest, is once you get paid, mm -hmm. that's the happiest feeling. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. as hard as a photographer, you know, I know what you're going through. Yeah, definitely. Once you sell your first, your first item, mm -hmm. you think, oh, maybe I can do this, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. You know, and just keep it up. And also, um, I don't know what to say besides I love your work. Keep going, keep doing what you're doing. I'm looking forward to the show. And I just need to know, uh, Momo, what's your Instagram feed? My Instagram? Yes. It's, um, I will write it down for you. No, just on the camera. Oh, I see. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's my official name, Y-U-N-T-O-N-G, um, W-U, Momo, that's it. Okay, and Judy? Uh, I think mine is uh, D-H-U-4-4-2-6, it's my last name, plus the 4 4 6 like randomly. <clears throat> okay, perfect. So. I want people to follow you, reach out to you, and make sure they don't miss the show. Okay? Thank you so much. Thank you.